So I want to talk a bit over the next few days about social media. And particularly, I know I've spoken about it before, but I think it's even more important right now with the lockdown things that are going on. People are understandably becoming more dependent on social media. And, and But what I'm seeing on my social media is more and more people saying, oh, but I'm having a terrible time, it's so depressing and I really wish I could take a break from it, but I feel as though I can't because at the moment this is the only social outlet I've got or one of the few social outlets that I've got and otherwise I would feel very lonely. Now, social media, when I, when I first became aware of the phenomenon of social media, it was in the days before Facebook, uh, I was, I'd, I'd got a dog, I had Kalgakis, who really, really did not like other dogs at this, at the point I really started to depend on social media, was the point when Kalgakis was trying to attack other people's dogs. He had badly injured somebody else's dog. The training club that we went to at the time were unable to help. It was beyond uh, the, it was it was beyond the knowledge and the skill set of the trainers there and I was really struggling to find anybody who could help. And to make matters worse I had no friends with dogs at all. I grew up in a family without dogs. We were skiers and we skied every weekend all winter, all of us. There, there were a lot of us. Um, we used to go and uh, the ski club I'm in owns a building that you can stay in close to Glencoe Mountain and uh, we would all go and live there, about 50 of us every weekend all winter long. So it wasn't conducive to having a dog and of course that was my friendship group. None of us had dogs. So I'd got this bull mastiff who now hated other dogs. And the only source of support that I had was the dog training club I went to at the time with him. But they were unable to help. And I, at that point, had quite a difficult emotional relationship with the club because it had been well-meaning but ill-advised advice from one of the train from the main trainer of the club that had caused the problem in the first place so I at that point had quite a difficult emotional relationship with with the club so they weren't re they were not a good source of help and support for me and I had nobody else so I started really to depend on online forums it was old-fashioned well, what's now old-fashioned forums Facebook didn't exist in those days and I started to make friends with people online and many of the people that I made friends with are still friends with me to this day. Lots of them I've met in person now, although we do live great distances away from each other. But, but those friendships and the people that I met through the internet absolutely changed my life. Now obviously I know loads of dog people now, I'm like really, really really very well connected in the dog, in the pet dog training world and loads of people. It's rare for me these days to go to a conference or a training event and not meet somebody that I know. But that wasn't the case nearly 20 years ago when Kalgakis was having problems. It wasn't the case at all and what made the difference for me was was social media and even in th those were the days when I was first joining forums those were the days when it was seen as completely socially acceptable in forums for people to just flat out attack one another it was really really common the, the level of vitriol that you would see online was absolutely astounding and it and you didn't have the control that Facebook allows you to 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 stop seeing upsetting things that that control just wasn't there and but still for me it was an unbelievably positive experience and I'm going to talk a little bit over the next few days about why that was because it, it really bothers me when people say oh I'm gonna to have to stop being here I'm gonna to have to get off Facebook and stop using it because in times of isolation which is exactly what happened to me with Kalgakis. It was extremely isolating to have a very large dog who really wants to attack other people's dogs. Not wants to, but who is likely to attack other people's dogs is extremely isolating. You end up very alone. And 
and, and because I didn't have any dog friends, I didn't really have anybody to talk to about it. So it's the same, similar sort of isolation and I needed to make the online stuff work for me. So I'm going to talk in the next few days about how I did that because it's easier now. It's, Facebook makes it much easier. 